Dante, or as she calls herself, was a nine-year-old who became famous for a three-month period in 2018 when she basically just flexed on us all and then dicked. My toilet cost more to your rent. Everything in my bathroom cost more to your rent. And see, this is my closet. Everything here be designer. Gucci, Louis, Versace. It was reported that her brother, Jason Tian, had coached her to help create these videos. Lil Tay be popping on YouTube right now. However, after it was revealed that her mum, Angela Tien, was simply an estate agent who let Lil Tay flex in these houses and that she didn't actually own them, she completely vanished from the internet. However, on Wednesday, the 9th of August 2023, Lil Tay's Instagram account was used for the first time since 2018, however, it wasn't the news that we were all hoping for. It was reported that Lil Tay and her brother, Jason Tien, had passed away. However, there was no explanation as to why or how they had died, and none of their family members seemed to make any comments about it. The only family member who had acknowledged Lil Tay and her brother's passing was her dad, who is a lawyer, and they were currently in a court battle against him for him apparently being abusive and keeping all of, sort of, like, the money that they had made through the viral videos, had said that he couldn't comment on the situation. He apparently did this because he's a lawyer and blah de blah blah you know, he didn't want to say the wrong thing. However, you know, you'd think if your, your daughter had died, you could confirm or deny it. However, he just simply didn't want to comment on it. Okay, so basically a statement was posted on her Instagram account claiming that she and her brother had passed away. It has since been deleted, however I can read it for you now. It is with a heavy heart that we share the devastating news of our beloved Claire's sudden and tragic passing. We have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain. This outcome was entirely unexpected and has left all of us in shock. Her brother's passing adds an even more unimaginable depth to our grief. During this time of immense sorrow, we kindly ask for the privacy as we grieve this overwhelming loss, as the circumstances surrounding Claire and her brother's passing are still under investigation. Claire will forever remain in our hearts, her absence leaving in an irreplaceable void that will be felt by all who knew and loved her. However, 24 hours later, TMZ released an article claiming that Lil Tay is not dead. Why this took 24 hours uh, to come out with, I don't know, because if that was me, and uh, I had been reportedly dead, and my brother was also apparently dead, and I wasn't, I would, you know, make sure to get the word out fairly quickly. Uh, so we'll go we'll go through the uh, the article. Social media personality Lil Tay is very much still alive, claiming her Instagram account was compromised and news to spread jarring misinformation about her and her brother's death. A jarring misinformation. Do you know... <laughs> <laughs> if my Instagram was hacked and had told everybody that I loved and everybody I knew uh, I was dead, I I don't think I'd just say it was jarring. Oh, that, that is, uh, oh, I, that is jarring. God. So she tells TMZ, I want to make it clear that my brother and I are safe and alive. I mean, as soon as they started the interview, you'd think they'd see that she's alive and well, but there we are. Uh, but I'm completely heartbroken and struggling to even find the right words to say. It's been a very traumatizing 24 hours. All day yesterday I was bombarded with endless heartbreaking and tearful phone calls from loved ones, all while trying to sort out this mess. Do you know what's crazy to me? She is, what, 14 now? But she's not been active for like five years and she is still so famous. And to have like so many people making videos about her death uh, the other day and to comment on it. I mean, it is massive. I mean, articles from, articles are being written left, right and centre. I mean, just one little Google search, you've got Rolling Stone, Sky News, The Independent, all making articles about her. Like, that must be so overwhelming to have that much fame and to be so, like, relevant still after being completely away from the internet for five years. That is insane to me. Uh, she even says though, however, in the statement that uh, even her name was wrong. My name, my legal name is Tay Tian and not Claire Hope, which is what's claimed in her death statement. The thing is, she's saying that, um, you know, she's getting heartbreak and tearful phone calls from loved ones, which is understandable. However, if they saw the uh, the post, you'd think they'd pick up on that her name was wrong. I, Because I was looking for a Twitter and I didn't see a single thing saying that 
you know, her name was wrong on it. If you're if you're that close and, and stuff to her, you'd think you'd point out that this is probably fake and that she's been hacked, but there we are. So Tay thanks Meta for helping get her Instagram account back and the phony death statement has since been removed, which we have now seen, because now when you go on her Instagram, it is just her normal account, which is wild to me. She is 3.5 million followers what the, the, it also kind of feels a bit weird to me like i don't i don't really want to follow like a like a 14 year old but you know crazy i mean there she is she's just sitting in a in a bathtub full of money it is wild however what is still unclear is it took tay 24 hours to get word out that she's alive especially saying because she was aware that her instagram account was hacked and she was getting these phone calls about her death that makes no sense to me like i i would want to get it out straight away that i was alive i was well i was breathing and so was my brother it's crazy so on wednesday when the statement was released tmz contacted the police in vancouver area as well as family members who were totally in the dark and knew nothing of her passing like imagine like you know your your little tay's mum or something and you know you get a phone call it's the it's it's tmz and they're like hello um is your daughter dead? And she's like, uh, I don't know why. I'm completely unaware of this. Well, well, is she alive? I don't know. And even to the point, her dad refused to make any comments about the situation. What? And then the rest of the article basically just goes on to explain who um, Lil Tay is. However, a major rumour was that her dad, Christopher Hope, had sort of, you know... <laughs> Lil Tay and her brother, I can't say what because of YouTube, but you know what I mean. Uh, because they were in the middle of a really nasty cust uh, custody battle around the time when Lil Tay went radio silence. Again, the no comment on his half is strange to me. Like, you'd think if there were rumours that you were, you know, your, your, your son and your daughter, you'd say something. Be like, no, I didn't. They're alive and well. It's it's weird to me. It's very very weird to me. Um, however, of course, it is brilliant news that it, she is still alive. She is so young, and I remember seeing the um, the post for the first time, uh, being absolute in the most shock. However, what's insane to me is that not a lot of people actually know who Lil Tay is. I remember going through TikTok and seeing all these videos, sort of people coming up with theories and conspiracies onto what had happened because she was so young and that it obviously wouldn't have been a natural death. Um, people didn't know who she was, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys a couple videos of her. I lived in Atlanta and I was broke as hell, but one day I woke up, I said to myself, so I got out and I started working hard, moving bricks, and now we be living in the hills. See that view? Y'all don't have that view, and I be holding your mama's rent. This bed cost me a Lamborghini. It's insane to me. She is nine years old in that and making videos like that. And there's also videos of her like smoking. She also got into like arguments with like Whoa Vicky and Bad Baby. So yeah, this whole situation has been kind of insane to me, but the good news is, is that she is alive and well. Uh, a lot of people are claiming that this uh, account wasn't actually hacked and that it's sort of like um, a plan to, to get more relevant again and, you know, it will be the big return of Lil Tay to the internet. However, who knows, I don't want to be like too sort of, uh, I guess, pessimistic about the situation. Um, it is all just so insane how massively this blew up and how long it took for her uh, to respond to it and also the fact that it is like nearing the end of the court case which is supposedly supposed to be ending in I think a couple weeks but yeah I guess we'll just we'll just see what comes from it if there's any updates I will let you guys know however yeah thank you guys very very much for watching uh, make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy and if you want any more updates on Lil Tay and the whole drama situation um, as well make sure to cop the beanie it is my new merch um, it's really cool it's good quality the bat is sick uh, it'll be the first link down in the description and yeah have a good day see you all later